Melanie Thomas Scott has an impressive acting repertoire that now spans six decades, but it's her portrayal of Nicky Newman in the hit soap opera The Young and the Restless for the past 44 years that has catapulted her into a bona fide star. Though she has a decorated acting career, which included a Daytime Emmy nomination for Outstanding Lead Actress in 1999 and several other wins, her childhood was marred in a tragedy whose rippling effects haunt her even to this day. In August 2020, the TV personality released her long-awaited memoir titled Always Young and Restless, My Life On and Off America's Number One Daytime Drama, which details years of abuse she endured from her grandmother and the sexual assault she suffered at the hands of several men. I'm sure many people will be shocked to learn that I have that kind of background, she told people. They've seen me in their living room every day for 41 years. They believe I'm my character Nikki Newman and my life is perfect. Explaining her decision to come forward, Melody shared that it would be more impactful for her loyal fans to know that abuse and trauma can occur to anyone, no matter how seemingly perfect their life might seem. While promoting her book, The Young and the Restless alum revealed she continues to work on her trauma piece by piece by meditating regularly and attending therapy sessions. There's no easy fix, but I'm hoping my story opens the door for people, she added. Speaking about the horrific sexual assault she suffered as a child, she wrote in her memoir that as a four-year-old, she gained a place in the Hollywood Children's Theater, which was founded and run by an elderly man named Cosmo Morgan, who is long dead. According to the actress, children were required to have private weekly classes at Morgan's apartment in order to appear in the weekly showcase, and eventually she was forced to sit on his lap, which quickly progressed to molestation. Opening up to page six, the soap star explained that even though she was only a child, she instinctively knew it was wrong, and that she looked to her grandmother, who was in the room, for help, but the latter did nothing. She confessed the abuse went on for years and that she still has not forgiven her grandmother, who died years ago, saying, you don't allow that to happen to a small child. Further adding, even now, I think I'm healed, I think I'm over it, but it never really leaves you. So what helped the talented star overcome her trauma? Well, it turns out it's her loving family. The 66-year-old credits her husband, former YNR producer and current Bold and the Beautiful producer, Edward Scott, and her children with helping her cope with her painful past. The mother of three explained that embarking on the journey of motherhood was also a huge part of her healing process, saying, it gave me an opportunity opportunity to raise a child in a way that I was not raised. That became very important to me. When raising her kids, she saw a chance to correct so much that went wrong when I was a child. I intentionally chose the exact opposite of the decisions that were made for me. Now to watch them grow into beautiful women with their own children, I'm so proud and happy. Despite growing up in a chaotic environment, Melody was always strong, and her fighting spirit and resilience have undoubtedly helped her navigate life, despite everything she's been through in her formative years. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.